How y'all doing? Good, how are you? How are you? Good. Miles, I guess I'll go ahead. The Nebraska defense was ranked towards the top of the Big Ten. You guys put 56 up on them. What does that say about your offense? We just know what we come to do when we come to play. We come to play hard against anybody they put out there. So, you know, we take our chances with us against anybody in the nation. So, I'm just confident we had a good game plan going into the game. We just executed. A lot of people have been discussing maybe your team's lack of strength of schedule. Do you think this win goes anywhere to kind of sil silence those doubters a little bit? Oh, we don't care about that. I mean, we just play who they put out there. Whoever they put, whoever they put out there, we're going to be ready to play. That's all that matters to us. Taven stepped in, obviously, in the second half. What gave you, uh, Kurt said you guys had a lot of confidence in the back of the quarterback. What was your kind of thoughts about that in terms of, you know, getting in a rhythm with him, you know, not missing a beat? Well, it doesn't matter who's out there. We're going to play the win no matter what. It's always next man up mentality. You know, that's the standard we got to have, the mentality we got to have going into the game. Anybody goes down, we got to be uh, ready for it. Somebody else to step in and make, continue to make plays like we've been doing. What was it like playing in this atmosphere? It was incredible, man. I feel like we, we definitely fed off the crowd, and we're just looking to build upon it. To win this. With such a confidence and a swagger, like you know you're better than the other team. I mean, just the way you play, not in the stats. So it, where does that come from, that kind of confidence? It just comes from practice, just repetition, and working, on, just working on that week in and week out, and just getting better one day at a time, and just practicing hard, and just knowing that we got the ability to do that, and just continue to just stay strong with that. What about, the, like, has the past success helped in games? I mean, do that to, at UCLA the way you did, Maryland, some of the other teams. Has that helped the offense kind of grow and, and get that mental confidence? Oh, definitely. Whenever you have success in a game, that's carries over to the next game. So, like, continuing to have that, that success, it's just going to continue to help us play with faster and play with a lot of confidence and continue to drive for you talk about practice, I think around 10 different guys caught a pass today. How competitive are practices? Man, it's very competitive. You know, we're all out there trying to get better. And uh, I know after practicing with the receiver, it's always a race to the jug machine. So it's, it's very competitive. We're all trying to get better and just take this thing one day at a time. Miles, can you talk about how much sting the RPO plays in practice? Your coach Signetti mentioned it, that you know, the RPO, the danger of the RPO is kind of helping the run game and vice versa. What do you think makes the RPO so effective? It's so effective because um, if teams decide they want to load the box up, we all can always throw RPOs behind that. And, uh, if they try to stop the RPOs, that's when you see like big runs. Like today, we have a lot of big runs that pop today. So it just it just plays off each other. I feel like the RPOs, just being able to hand the ball off, it just, uh, just complements each other very well. And, uh, it keeps the defense all down. Miles, what sort of offensive adjustment do you have to make when there's a quarterback change? Oh, it's no, no adjustment. We just continue to run our offense and play to play how we know how to play. Just continue to dominate. You've been with Curtis, and he, he had injuries when you, know, you guys were at Ohio together. What's his? You, you know, expect his mindset the next week or so, or whatever he's dealing with, um, not to be a problem. Yeah, well, I know how Curtis is. Curtis is going to be. He's still going to be up. He's still. He's going to be a very positive guy through this whole process. You know, he's experienced stuff before in the past, like you said. So he's still going to be up. He's still going to be positive, and he's still going to be looking to continue where our ultimate goal for this season is. Just to continue to get better and just build upon it. If you look at this team, you're seven and zero, and the way you won uh, has a lot of people wondering. I mean, are you a national title contender? Do you feel that you, that you guys are in that category? We're just looking to take it one game at a time, and just whoever's next on our schedule, just focus on that. So if we get to that point, we get to that point. But right now, we're just focusing on the next team. Kurt Signetti said he was a maniac in the fourth quarter on the sideline, trying to get as involved as he, you know, he was earlier in the game. Do you guys notice that? Does that kind of you feed off of that? You know, him being that's 56 to seven, and he's the same way as it was 0 0. Yeah, we're going to keep our foot on the gas. You know? We're not looking to lay down for any opponent. When they came out there, so we got we to put full throttle on them for them. So looking to dominate whenever we can. Were you guys you mentioned the mind motivated at all by? Kind of some of the hype Nebraska had, you know, as being one of the top, I think they were 13th in the country defensively. Everybody was kind of wondering if this was going to be a big test for you. Did that motivate you guys at all during the I mean, it was like, 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 like I said earlier, any team that comes out there, we're going to nominate them. So they just happened to be the next team out there. They happened to, happen to have a top defense. And we know we can do You know, we can, we can put up a lot of points and put up a lot of scores and plays. And just you know, that's the, you know, that today. So that's why you guys don't That's seem like Miles. sorry. Uh, you guys don't seem like they're the type of team to worry about what anybody says except what's in your locker room and your coaching staff. But 
what is this a win like this? How, what kind of a statement does it make to people who haven't seen him play or only seen him play a little bit? I'm not really sure. You probably had to ask them, but <laughs> uh, I know for us, it's just, it just builds confidence for us and just knowing we can carry this one on to the next one, continue to build upon that, continue to dominate. Everything. You're about six foot 